we have been significantly impacted during the last two years, but this surge, um, we've seen increasing number of patients in our emergency departments requiring inpatient care. These beds here, as well as in the other sites, um, have always been part of our surge plan. For the last two years, we hadn't reached the point of activating these spaces. We had activated spaces within the hospital, but the ability to do it and to partner with the state where they're giving us resources, staff, um, and planning support has been tremendous. You'll be working alongside of our staff to, um, to do this. It's gonna be such a, a big impact to the community. All the emergency departments across Greater Sacramento have been affected. Um, we've got holds in the emergency department, and of course we won't be taking care of COVID patients here on the other side, but um, Alvin will tell you that his unit is so impacted right now and they can't move people out because skilled nursing facilities are impacted and it's just like a triple trickle down effect. So it's so different from even the fourth surge. We have, um, uh, 56 spaces that are medical, surgical, telemetry type spaces. We also have um, staff spaces uh, in the emergency department. And so that capacity will mean that our emergency department can become decompressed. It's very full. Um, all emergency departments across the greater Sacramento area are heavily burdened during this surge. So that availability of beds will create a throughput, capacity, and um, more than 60 beds. Our staff really um, appreciate um, the support, you know, given what's been going on. And I certainly, from my bottom of my heart, appreciate you being here.